thank you jesus we just love you i just want to welcome everybody to a new month the month of september i trust the lord that this month the lord himself we fire a battle for us and give our testimony in the name of jesus christ don't worry this month is going to be a month that every prayer request will be answered in the name of jesus so today is the first sunday in the month of uh of september before you know it, we are going to run through to december but the lord is faithful anyway hallelujah now uh, if you are watching me right now i want you to just if you have your bible just break your bible with me to the book of genesis chapter 8 genesis chapter 8 you see and god remember no one and god remember no one and every living things and all the cattle that was with him in the ark and god make made a wind to pass over the earth and the water as well. I am preaching on the message title, and God remember no one. <laughs> Hallelujah. And God remember no one. I don't know who God will remember this more, but I believe it is me. Amen. It is me. It is me that you see. You need to personalize it. All right. Don't don't let anybody uh, say it for yourselves. I say it for you. You need to say it by yourself. It is me that God will remember. You see, and God remember no one. Now, as I was preparing this message, I've come to also begin to think that in the days of Noah, could it be Noah was the only righteous man there? Or some of them were righteous, but they just travelized what God is saying in the, in the agenda of God. No matter how you are righteous or faithful, if you are not in the frequency of God, if you didn't align yourself with the will of God, you may miss the track. And so you need to understand that when God is speaking in FM, you don't need to be in AM. We need to align our will with the will of God. We need to jump into the boat of God. And so it could not be only Noah who was righteous. But Noah find grace, find favor in the sight of God. Are you glad that you are alive today? Being alive today in this first Sunday of September means you will find grace in the sight of God. God is too faithful to fail us. God is too faithful to, to allow to just fall like that. He can defend us. He say, and God remember no one. I prefer for God to remember that than, than, than any other things. Because when God remember you, it causes man to be your friend. When God remember you, it causes man to begin to bring that that you desire. Oh Lord, remember me. Somebody say, oh Lord, remember me. Say it again. Say, oh Lord, remember me. In the name of Jesus Christ. So Noah was not the only living living in his days. But grace and mercy keep speaking for him. Keep speaking for him. Keep speaking for him. I love God. God knows how to rescue his soul from calamity. God knows how to rescue his soul from destruction. God knows how to rescue his soul from poverty. And when God find, when you find favor in the sight of God, I tell you, no matter the calamity in the nations, he will remember you. Hallelujah. Mercy of God, yet this mercy of God elevate us more than any other things in our generation. Grace and mercy keep speaking for Noah and his family. And God said, Noah, I know I'm going to do a, 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 a things in the land. I'm going to destroy because of the iniquity of these people who have so much that I can't wait anymore. You know, now, it is so interesting that God had to locate a man and begin to speak to him his mind. What is God saying right now? Now if you pick my message at last Sunday message, uh, the season we are, and I said that it, the, the children of Israel can understand the time and season that we are. Uh, so God had to give Noah his calendar, his agenda concerning men. When you look at the world today, we are in a day like in like days of Noah. That a lot of abomination is happening today. A lot of things is working opposite on what God planned for us. But apart from that, he's still faithful to us on this generation. One thing I want to let you know that 
no matter how the evil is alarming in the society, never join hands with them. When you join hands with them, you will not go unpunished. You need to stand up upright. You need to stay upright. So that God will and perfect uh, uh, plan in your life will be accomplished. Hallelujah. And God, remember no one. You need to be in God's side. You need to be in his side before he can remember you and your household. You cannot be too busy that you don't, you don't need God. You need God. In this time we are, in this wicked time we are, you need God. If the, 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 the wet leaf are born and we talk a little dry leaf, you need God. Oh God, remember me. Oh God, remember me. You need for God to remember you and your household. In in Second Chronicles chapter chapter in Second Chronicles chapter twenty verse seven, say Abraham was called the friend of God, and that's you see uh, Joshua was reminding God when the, the, the three nations came to besiege him, and he was telling uh, uh, was was actually uh, reporting these people to to God. He said, "Oh God, our eyes is on you. Are you more the friend of Abraham that no enemy would defeat him forever?" It's so important for you to see your progenitor, your forefather, your grandfather serve the Lord and they now hand over the baton to you to follow suit. He said, Abraham is a friend of God. When you reach a level that God calls his friend, I tell you, it's a time to rejoice. When you reach a level that God can confine in you, it's so sweet. It's so sweet to serve Jesus. Now, hear this. You see, do you know that Abraham's father, Terah, could not actually, uh, or couldn't find favor in the sight of God. He couldn't work with God. And if you read the book of Genesis chapter 11, Bible's draw the end, say, and Terah died in Haran. Haran is where his son also died. That was the father of Lot. You see, and Haran died. So Terah died. So Terah, the Abraham father, Abraham father couldn't move beyond that. But God said, no, Abraham, you will find grace in my side. I will remember you. I don't want to know what your father has done before. I don't want to know the mistake of your father or your, or your generation. But Abraham, I will remember you because my mercy will keep speaking for you. Somebody raise up your right hand and say, Lord, let your mercy speak for me. Say it again. Say, Lord. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for me. Lord, let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for me. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy speak for me. Because in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, the first word that came from the mouth of God is Abraham, get up. I'm going to take you to a nation where you will be blessed. Let me read for you. He said, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of that country from the kindreds and from the father house unto a land that I will show thee. Your father fed in that land, leave that land. Hear me, it is not every location that you can be blessed. Everyone have a place, geographical location that God has positioned him to bless him. It does not matter whether the place is local or is urban. Or it, there are many people who are running to America today, they, they also struggle. It is not everybody that, run, that uh, live in America today or California today, even now, when you go to California, you're going to see a lot of people who are sleeping on the street. Everyone have his own location. You need to ask the Lord, Lord, give me the location. Give me the map. You, you see, God is the GPS. It's our GPS. When God directs you to a land that he will bless you, no matter whether people are struggling there or not, he will remember you. And God remember. Hallelujah. Now, I've been praying for Nigeria and the election of Nigeria. And I'm, I'm, I came to stand in the position of Nehemiah. God had to find Nehemiah and remember Jerusalem, but he needed somebody to go and restore the war of Jerusalem back. And God, among everyone in Ezra, it is only Nehemiah that God placed that body on his heart. Hear me, when God placed a body of a nation on your heart, when God placed a body, like what he placed on me now, the body of Nigeria by the election, when God placed a body like that, it means he's going to use it to deliver them. He spoke to him. Uh, uh, to, to, to Gideon in Judges chapter 6. He said, Gideon, there are a mighty man of valor. I've remembered you. There are a mighty man of valor. And Gideon began to ask the Lord, but how do you say a mighty man of valor? Because among my father's children, I am the least. And, and my father is the least in the region. Why did you say 
I will deliver the children of Israel. When God remembers you, it does not matter who you are. He will begin to lift you up. He will give you things that you need to, to, to succeed, succeed in life. Hallelujah. He said in verse chapter, uh, Judges chapter 6, verse 1, he said, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Oh my God. Anytime the children of Israel gone astray, God turned his face away from them. Until he will raise a prophet, he raise a joy that can take them out. God is not mock. What a man soweth, that shall he reap. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Midian. And seven years they were struggling. Seven years they were in captivity. Seven years they couldn't find their way. They cried, they labored, they couldn't find their way. But God said, a time will come, I will send someone who will go and pull them out. And in verse 2, says, and the land of the Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midian and the children of Israel made them a deans who uh, are the mountains and, and caves and strongholds. And so it was when Israel had sworn that the Midian came up and the Malachite and the children of Israel, the children of the east, even they, uh, they came up against them. But God reserve a man called Gideon. Look at what he said in verse, in verse, verse 14. See, and the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy mind, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianite. Have I not commanded thee? Have I not? When God decides to remember you among your family, among your siblings, means you are ready to do what he has sent you to do. Hallelujah. It does not matter your fathers, what your father couldn't conquer. It does not matter whether your father gone astray. If you walk with God, you will, God will rewrite the history, the story of your family. You need to walk with God. When I see people say, I don't, I don't have time for Jesus, I don't have time for God. If you don't have time now, when you're old, you will have the time. I will live in, will live in a society where that people don't care about God. But one and two, one, I, 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 was, I was baffled. When you see people who don't care about God, when they die, they take them to the church for the priest to pray for them. Before the body, they, why did they, why did they, do they need to enter church? Some of them could enter church when they're young. Now they are dead. They carry them for the priest to, to just wave their hands. I don't know what, what that. They could have just bury them like that. Remember the Lord in the days of your youth. Remember the Lord in the days of your youth. Don't travelize the grace of God. Say, I'm not in that, so I'm living, I'm, I'm living fine. I have all the money. I don't, don't need God. You need God. My brother, you need God. My sister, you need God. In this time, this perilous time we are, you need God. If you must survive, you need God. <laughs> now, what are the thing? One of the things that is, some of the things I discovered about Noah was number one of the that Noah was righteous before his maker. You need to be righteous. Righteous means right standing with God. You need to be righteous with God. You need to walk a, a path in the perfect will of God. All this running around, uh, doing because we're a rat race when they enter. You see, the money you are laboring for today, because of money, you, you burn your hands, you join any kind of things. When you die, you meet your maker. There are, there are, there, you see, if you, ca you cannot escape hell and escape heaven. Or rather, you cannot escape heaven and escape hell. You must choose one. You must choose one. You must choose one. When you die, you will meet God either as a judge or as a savior. So Noah was righteous with God. He has right standing with God. Number two, that Noah was so obedient to God. You need to be obedient to, to your maker before he can send you a message, before he can trust you and commit things into your hands. He was righteous. <laughs> Are you righteous? Are you obedient to God? Do you follow his will? Do you follow his commandment? Or you are following other gods? Be obedient to the word of God. Number three, Noah followed God's instruction blindly. Noah followed God's instruction blindly. There is no, 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 
No sign of rain. But God spoke to Noah and said, Noah, make me an ark. Noah could have said, ah, well, you know, <laughs> this is not the rainy season. Even there's a rainy season, the rain cannot be so full that it can lift up an ark. Because period to that time, Noah have not seen any rain that can lift up an ark. But he believed God. Days upon days, he was cutting down wood, getting material, beginning to build, and people were laughing at him. Ah, this Noah, I think, I think he's mad. He followed God blindly. When you follow God blindly, goodness and mercy will follow you. Most times, the instruction of God is not, it does not make sense, but follow it anyway. When God says, maybe for a couple who are believing God for the womb, He say, well, go and buy baby things. Buy things and just dress the room for the baby. It does not make sense. This is three years that you're not pregnant, but a word came through a pastor, say, uh, your baby is going to come. Just get, uh, get and buy baby, baby things, dress the baby room. Every day, walk into the begin to call the baby's name. Oh, uh, Angelina, oh, Joy, all this and that. And walk back to your room. It does not make sense. At times when you follow God blindly, people think you've lost your mind. You lost your mind. A better we are, we, 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 our spirit is lost in God. Noah follow God blindly. And then begin, people are beginning to be there now, begin to be there now. Until the day, God said, look, now you finish the ark, move all your family there and all the animals, two by two. And after that, he locked the ark and the rain, the heaven opened up and began to pour. Those who are mocking at Noah, the same way they begin to look at Noah at the ark when the ark was sailing. They begin to cry. May you not miss God in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, God don't just raise people that their heart is not right with him. Before God can raise you, your heart must be right with you, with him. When God remember uh, to, uh, you, he washes over you. He is about to bless you and announce you to your generation. And one of the things that I know about God, anytime God remember you, it means blessing is closed. There's no way God can remember you without the blessing following him, uh, following it. Now, now, open with me to the book of Genesis as we begin to round up. Genesis chapter 9, verse, verse 1. The first thing that came from the mouth of God, say, And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. This was the agenda of God. These are the first thing that came from the mouth of God after creating human beings. You see, came in verse, this chapter 9, verse 1. Repeated what he said in Genesis chapter 1. Because it's a new creation. And God blessed Noah. Oh God, bless me. That, is what, that should be your confession this month of September. Oh God, bless me. People say, why are you think, uh, people talking about blessing, blessing? You need God's blessing to run this Christian race. Oh God, bless me. Bless me. The blessing of God that added no sorrow. Oh God, bless me. When God remembers you, it's about to bless you. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but the blessing of God is upon you. Lankoto Labraga begin to pray. Kanta Lela Brodoko Sutakaba. Say, My Father, my Father, let the heavens open up for me. Let me be announced in the name of Jesus. Talking about you, say, and the dove came, the heaven open. He said, Behold, my begotten son, in whom I'm well pleased. Lord, my Father, my Father, let the heaven open up for me. Let me be announced. Let me be announced. Let me be announced to my generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Le kosata kalabra na kasata. Le kete kele brodo koso sopola. Manda le kete le koto mana karadaba. Je kele kreke sula krebe ne koso toko. Pare ze le kele brodo koso to lembro ashateye. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father. Let your grace and mercy speak for me. Now, the mercy of God is the medicine of God. It's the hotline of God. Say, Father, let your grace and mercy speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord my God and my Father, let your grace and mercy begin to speak for me. 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 In the name of Jesus. Begin to speak for me. In the name of Jesus. Let your mercy, O God, begin to speak for me and my family, my household. 
in the name of Jesus. Mercy, 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 mercy. Ikatala brakataka. In Jesus' name. Say, Father, let this month of September be my month of delivery. Everything, oh God, has been hanging. Lord, this is the month that will deliver them. A kappa, a new vision, a new level, a new things, oh God. Oh God, be better, oh God. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and begin to pray. Mashile kesutapa, lengo susa kola la katala maneshete, le broko the month of my delivery, oh God. I take delivery, oh God, of that I've been believing God for. I take delivery of them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jerusalem, heaven open up for me, oh Lord. E barada hasata the month of my delivery. O koto lolo brogo dogo soto. I press in the spirit roll. I press in the spirit. I'm below salakatenda leketisha. E grosu seko nanande keleze sekida kaba. E dogo shantala bahasha. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus. Before before we round off, you don't know Jesus. He's knocking at the door. See, if anyone open, I will come in and fellowship with him. You're going to say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner that need repentance. I confess with my mouth that you died and, and rose up again. Lord, have mercy upon me. I am a sinner that need repentance. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. From today, I declare with my mouth that devil that rejected and I belong to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Now that you saved, let me pray for you. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise for this one, O God, who have taken the decision, O God, to follow you. Lord God of us, O God, you bless them, O God, beyond their recognition, O God. The blessing, O God, that person understanding. Give them peace of mind from today. In the name of Jesus. Remove every fear from their life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Now, if taking that uh, decision, please, congratulations to you, but our details going to be scrolling on the screen as I preaching please uh leave on all those still uh um, that the phone number that email read right to god let us know that you, you give your life to jesus on through the telecast we'll send you material that will help you through the christian journey and we'll be reaching out to you to encourage you to make sure you stand firm in the law the devil have no part over your life anymore in the name of jesus congratulations congratulations hallelujah now quickly let's take our offering let's take our offering you need to give the first uh, offering that's the first fruit or first offering whatever you want to give uh, our banking is going to appear pump out at the screen right now as I'm, as I'm saying it please take advantage of those banking it is some in, one in south africa the other one in nigeria some part of west africa but if you don't live in all those regions you still have opportunities to give your uh, your offering you can go to our website go to a portal called donate just click it follow the instruction and drop your offering as you receive your offering we we'll begin to pray that your heaven will be opened up in the name of jesus father bless the offering of your people in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil for the sick. They will not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless your offering. May the Lord keep you. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Now, if you want special prayer, please also write to us. We'll be praying for you. If you have any prayer request, send the prayer request to our email. We we'll download it and be praying for you. When I say we're praying for you, we are actually praying for you. We're not joking. We are praying for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, our books are also in Amazon, um, other social media platform. Take advantage of them and just buy, buy any of the uh, titles you, you want to buy. And as you begin to read, it will be, you'll be empowered. And I see God are speaking to you through those book in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed forever in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's good that you open up your heart for us to reach, reach out to you this first Sunday in the month of September. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord reward you for waiting to this end. Or the telecast but what you want to do for me please uh share this message to people let them be blessed you may not know who god or want to uh, use this man to bless or turn their life around but i believe as we share it goodness and mercy will follow you in the name of jesus don't don't forget that we we will be coming up also on thursday but you can also go to our channel so our youtube is the first time of you connecting to our youtube channel please subscribe so that anytime we drop content you could be able to notify um naturally follow what we are doing right now we're doing also at 28 days every morning prayer for five minutes you can also join us it's quite refreshing may the lord bless you may the lord keep you as you're gonna say to you no matter what matters know that the same god is a lot work cha cha god bless you <laughs>